I adore, I really adore these moments, so, my dear Tanya. Hello to everybody. Where are you? <laughs> hello to everybody. We have already arrived to Chechnya and have a look at this breathtaking lake, uh, uh, the largest lake in the northern uh, Caucasus, and it is outstanding, great, wonderful blue lake. I think uh, green, a little bit green. A little bit, yes. Uh, <laughs> just greenish. Uh, the name of this lake is... Uh, Kezenoi. 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 I've never yes. heard about this before. Uh, so, I have never ever been to Chechnya and to tell the truth, I was a little bit uh, um, just striking. So, the striking beauty of Chechnya, it was just amazing. And I would like to tell you that I was very surprised uh, with the uh, Chechen temper and uh, the character of all Chechen people. And um, I uh, remember that uh, Ramzan Kadyrov and our president Vladimir Putin just have very warm, friendly and very yes, official re relationships. Yes, and I'm now I'm really, really like to remember and to know, to feel that this information, it's not just information, it's the truth. Yes, and let's admire together with you this Kezinoi Lake. Oh, have a look. <laughs> and we are traveling with our friends here and with our uh, guide. He's local and he's very, very nice guy. Yeah, really, guys, we have uh, three days vacations. Um, I am on vacation, but I can't help uh, but film very good picturesque video for you. And let's get started from the beginning. Everywhere traveling in Chechenska Republic, we see two portraits of our leaders, Vladimir Putin and Ramzan Kadyrov the leader of Chechnya. They are friends and it's great, I think. I want to show you uh, the typical house in Chechenska Republic. Very nice. What do you think? And a small uh, garden. And this is the most typical historical house you see one floor house in Chechenska Republic ah, what I see cherry tree our guide Aslan <laughs> and what about cherry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's so sour mm. Chechenska traditional stove and a lot of samovars. It's a wonderful, wonderful tiny house, but I see Tanya's shoes. Where is she? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to disturb you, my dear. I see you are in a meditation in this old uh, Chechenski house. It is very, very interesting fact that there are no poor people, no rich people here in Chechenska Republic. And they still live um, as, a, as a tribe. And there are only 1,500,000 of uh, population here. And uh, they are equal. That's, that's amazing, I think, in our 21st century. Of course, it's like a museum. It's not just um, a village for living now, but it's very interesting to explore the history of uh, these people and to see household. Just have a look, very, very clean everywhere. Let's 
see something. I think it's very cozy. It's like a dining room maybe. Families are really very big here. And uh, for example, our guide Aslan, he has seven kids, five sons and two daughters. I'll even know that uh, Muslims can have four wives by law. Uh, our guide Aslan has two wives. It's enough for him. <sighs> it's to my liking this type of stoves. I think it's so warm here in winter time. Oh, my friends and um, guide are fond of eating cherries again. I don't have time because um, I, I have a plan to shoot a good video about Chechenska Republic for you. Oh, what I see old fashioned Soviet cars! I think this is Pobeda. Is it Pobeda, да? What is it? Zaporozhets. Ah, Zaporozhets. Its name is Zaporozhets. Oh, uh, old vehicles. <gasps> wow! I remember these types of, these models of cars from my childhood. Volga. It was a car for wealthy people. It was the most expensive one. Pobeda, Pobeda. Victory. Uh, Pobeda means victory, but Pobeda is um, the model of this car. No, not Pobeda. No, not Pobeda. Ah, Volga. Again, Volga. <laughs> <laughs> I am layman in cars. Exactly, Zhiguli. Zaporozhets. 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 Zaporozhets, so funny. Have a look at this. Moskvich 412. Moskvich 412. Again, Moskvich. Mm. Yeah, have a look, these Chechensky costumes! Mm. Old Russian tradition to take a picture with the Chechensky guys. <laughs> oh, I like this village. And to, uh, we visit again a small grocery store in a small, small mountain village. I want you to show what's here, what you can buy here, what you can eat here. Mayonnaise. 60 rubles for halva. Um, a lot of different candies and biscuits, um, jams. One hundred rubles for pack. And very you no, know, very good candies. You see, and marmalade. Nesquik for kids for breakfast. And toilet paper, very good one, I think. Did I, did I tell you that I'm all the time I'm amazed <laughs> when I see uh, original Coca-Cola in a small, small village grocery stores. Just have a look, it's really small and you can buy here eggs and very good tomatoes oh, I would like to eat it it smells perfect but I don't see prices 
What else? Uh, no, no beer here, just uh, different lemonades. Uh, no beer because uh, we are visiting Muslim region. They don't drink alcohol. Lamps, lamps for 40 rubles, one lamp. <laughs> And frozen section, uh, lots of ice creams. Oh, I would buy one. I think it's very nice. It reminds me my my childhood. А сколько стоит такое мороженое одно? Twenty, twenty rubles. Ah, and kids, hello. <laughs> привет, привет. Hello, kids. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> So I bought one coffee and one ice cream for 60 rubles. It's it's um, 80 cents, you know. <laughs> I'm waiting for my coffee. If you want to remember how the bread looked like in USSR, so have a look. 20 rubles for one loaf for fresh bread. And very, very popular amusement for all Russians and for all, for all Chechenski people. Sunflower seeds. Uh, we are going further uh, to the mountains, uh, and um, you can see Caucasus mountains already. And we um, we are crossing the small village, but have a look. Uh, it differs from uh, from Russian villages. Uh, I often show you Russian village life, and what do you think, my dear viewers? Write down in comments. Mm, what's in common and uh, uh, what differences uh, you can notice very very clean and so such a cozy houses and you know uh, russian gas is uh, spread uh, everywhere here 98 percent of houses are with russian gas it's great Frankly speaking, my dear viewers, I didn't expect that this region of Russia, Chechnya, is so unusual, so wonderful, so clean and so beautiful with its mountains. Just another small village. Oh, I see our friend Andre on the horse. <laughs> And this is a um, um, Chechnya hero, national hero. You may think that uh, it's a small but picturesque uh, waterfall, but no, no, it's a spring full of national legends. Thanks to the leader of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov, the roads are perfect here, even mountain roads, even serpentine. And have a look at these mountains. We are really amazed. It looks like um, a great deal of um, uh, lands landscape designers uh, <laughs> have been working here. Mm, and would you like to have such a small, uh, small house? on top of the mountains with the fantastic landscapes. Yeah, it's like it looks like a portal to another reality. Oh. I have to be with Tanya to admire this incredible view. Oh my god. Oh. How high we are on the top of the world. 
I have no words. One thousand six hundred eighty meters above the sea level. The height of this picturesque, terrific place. My dear viewers, write down in comments why do you have to visit Russia? My dear viewers, I would like to introduce you to Aslan. It's our wonderful guide. So uh, he made our living here really amazing and interesting. And he told me it's some information about this lake. The height of this lake is 1,850 meters. Can you imagine? <laughs> really? And the length of this lake is 2,500 meters. <gasps> and the two kilometers, two and a half kilometers. Yes, and the depth is about... Uh, Glubina. Glubina. Okay. 92 meters and the shape of this lake is like a leaf like, like a petal a, like a petal yeah and the кадином они водятся уникальные под вид форели эзинейская форель uh -huh. oh. uh, so there are a great deal of uh, very um, outstanding fish it's trout Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. and local mm -hmm. trot. Oh, we would like to try it. So, and our friend uh, Lidichka asked us about trying this fish. Yeah, she, Lida is very greedy, like, like me. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to eat. So, unfortunately, it is very beautiful, but we can't use it just for swimming because it's very, very cold. Uh, no more degrees than uh, 18, 18, 18, yes. And, uh, uh, so, no uh, other sources of going inside this lake, just in the springs are there mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. And we are on the side of Chechnya, Chechnya and, and the other side Dagestan. is already Dagestan, another uh, region of Russia. Yeah. Tanya, are you proud uh, of being a part of um, this wonderful country, Russia, including Chechnya? Yes, <laughs> I was really uh, amazed by all information. First of all, about the tempo of Chechen people, secondly, nature. And I just couldn't predict even that I would listen to so many interesting facts. <laughs> so, Aslan, thank you so much. Спасибо. Она вам говорит сейчас комплименты. Таня says compliments to our guide. And oh, now, <laughs> because and exactly he made this trip and made this information very vivid and bright. Let's go on. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go on. Oh, Tanya, I can't express my feelings. Yes, Where I are also we? <laughs> can't pick up really great and very sharp words to express my feeling because it's just a mass landscape, you know, and this is the valley of, uh, um, according to the legend, it is the valley of uh, the source of living. Yes. Here, yes. Can you imagine? And I can the source of civilization. Civilization, yes. And I can believe because uh, he is am amazingly uh, silent here and uh, great green velvet uh, uh, valleys and mountains grass, and it's mountains, and it is just uh, really outstanding so picturesque. performance of nature. Yeah, that's it's great. very mighty, very mighty. Looks like on somewhere on Mars, maybe. Yes, Mars <laughs> pictures. Yeah. My dear friends, I want you to inspire visiting Chechnya. Just have a look. It is an ancient town of guards. Its name is Hoy. Um, people living here guided the border with Georgia because it's somewhere behind these mountains. 
I close my eyes and I try to imagine the life of this small mountain village in 13th and 14th centuries. Oh guys, <laughs> you know what? I found I found Tanya in in a very exciting place. Hmm? It is a very exciting place and uh, this is Tawa. It was built in the 14th century. And uh, can you imagine that uh, people were living in this tower? Can you just imagine? No gas, no electricity, just nothing. Stones and nothing more. And ceiling. And floor. <laughs> I'm sitting here and uh, I try to imagine uh, me um, to live here. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you very much. Oh, yes, it's really Marine, the more I know, готова. the less I know. Спасибо. Small settlement of guides. And then Tony oh. somewhere up on the tower. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> I'm on the top of the hill, so the height is. Uh, 2,500! I can't imagine! I believe I can fly! Can you hear her? <laughs> so You're like a bird! really amazing view, my dear viewers! I can see you! I was you! And I can see you! <laughs> there are 136 houses. Of course, uh, all of them are after restoring uh, works and they look look perfect maybe maybe better than it was in 13th or 14th centuries the air is amazing here and uh, I'm not surprised that uh, people uh, living in the Caucasus mountains live a long long life sometimes till 120 fantastic nature fantastic ancient Settlement, village, fantastic company and fantastic guide. He knows the poetry so it's just perfect. Perfect. Tanya was crying a little bit. We are inside the clouds. Traffic jam. <laughs> the weather is changing every every five minutes. <laughs> hmm. And finally, finally. In the evening, we have reached the waterfall park and you see Tanya is going to take a picture with the wonderful waterfall. Yes, I'm here already and we are still in Chechnya. Oh, great park. 
Northern Caucasus Mountains. Oh my gosh, who is here? Ballerine. <laughs> Have a look what is here in the cave. Another waterfall and very high ladder. My dear viewers, this is the last point of today's adventure in Chechnya. And this is the biggest waterfall here in this park. And here is the link to my best videos about how Russians spend their vacations.